Hey guys, so every year I like to go over my analytics on the YouTube channel. I'm about eight months late, <laughs> apparently. I was like, where is the third year video? I haven't done it. Uh, so um, what we're gonna be doing is doing that third year, a year later from the previous time that we did it, just sort of go over who the audience is, how much money I make in ad revenue, um, you know, what I've done with the channel. And I'm gonna show you, it's just sort of the raw analytics of the channel so you can get an idea of um, you know, what I what I make is a lot really what people care about. But you just get an idea of um, you know what's going on behind the scenes and uh, what a little bit of effort and time and energy and this sort of great side project that I've been enjoying has done for me. I want to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting their Provo, Utah campus back in the day, as well as uh, talking with some of the management there. And they really are focused on getting their students prepped up and gaining the skills to join the working world. And that's what I think a coding bootcamp should be about. So if you're interested in checking out their quality assurance program, the UI UX, IOS, full stack web development program, I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All right, cool. So let's start with uh, last year's analytics of 2016, 2017, June. That's when I did it last time. So we're doing exact. This is what I was doing last year. So last year, watch time, uh, or uh, a year, a year since the second year. Uh, this is my second year here. We got about $3,300 in ad revenue and about 16,000 subscribers and a little less than a million views for the year. Um, but we'll go we'll go deeper in the new in the new one. So you can see here. Um, this is what I did from year two to three. So uh, in comparison, uh, much better. We are up to about 8.2 million minutes watched, about 1.7 million views, about 24,000 uh, subscribers, and our uh, revenue went up uh, to 8,000, which was at, uh, more than doubled our revenue. So pretty cool when it comes to the ad revenue. And uh, you can see it's sort of broken out, which, you know, and what's cool about this, so they, I'm not super familiar with the Analytics dashboard because they just launched a new one about a week ago, but you can uh, you can see they have something. So you published three videos around this time, two around this, four around this, and maybe you can see sort of some, some stuff that's going on here. So my top videos for the year was Learn Docker in 20 Minutes, How to Become a Great Self-Taught Developer, PHP versus Node in 2018, Five things we still land a web developer job, and uh, should you get a computer science degree in 2018? Um, you know, you can see here uh, in the past 24 hours uh, where some of my videos are coming from. The Docker video, and um, you know, my most recent video. But a lot, of, a lot of what you'll see here is slow things just sort of trickling in, and seeing how piece by piece you're just getting a little bit more out there, a little bit more. Um, going on and it looks like reach viewers is not working too well but um, you can see tra uh, traffic sources so um, you uh, suggested videos is always uh, sort of the highest in terms of um, where it's coming from so 42 percent of people just see it as a suggested video and go from there um, you know browse features YouTube search uh, is another one. So 14% of people are actually looking for something and they come across my video. That actually seems pretty good. Um, channel pages, uh, external, so like not too much. Like if you're not on YouTube, you're probably finding, uh, you're probably not really finding my video if you're not already on YouTube. But you can see if you wanted to break out the external, most of it comes from Google. Oh, about 7.1% from Facebook. That's pretty good. Um, that seems a little higher. Um, suggested videos is from zero. So like you can see a lot of these are coming um, from various Docker tutorials, uh, full stack, some personal portfolio stuff. Um, you know, and you can see uh, what the number one search terms are for me, which is kind of nice. I actually haven't looked at this too much. Uh, computer science degree, Dylan Israel. People are just searching for my name, that's interesting. Uh, just various things that people are working on or, or trying to solve. Then they have impressions and how they led to watch time. Um, but let's see about people. Interest views. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, 
build an audience. All right, so my male percentage has gone up from 88% to 91.2, still quite high. Um, I think by the third year, fourth year, we're just gonna have 100% male, that's it. Um, no, uh, um, in terms of age groups, everything pretty much looks the same. Um, my subscribe rate is going up quite high. Like, I've talked with Engineer Truth, and he says he has like a 10 or 15% subscribe rate, and a lot of people pass through. So I get, uh, when people do watch my videos, about one in three subscribe to it, which is pretty good. Um, you know, it means that they like the content and they're expecting uh, additional content down the road. Um, you can see here, the age demographic is pretty much the same. I heard on Chris Hawk's channel that the average developer, um, when you at, put it all together from some recent statistic is 40. So that, that sort of leans everyone right in this group. So like if the average developer is 40, that means the average aspiring developer is probably within 25, 34, which hits a lot of this. But um, 18 between 18 and 44 is sort of the, the money spot for me. And that means that we're getting people who are developers and we're getting people who are aspiring developers and sort of a, a good mix there. Um, and then of course, United States seems to be my, my main one. What's this earn revenue? Playback based, I don't know what that is. But uh, you can kind of see which videos made me the most money, uh, which months made me the most money here. Um, you know, this Docker video made me probably about a little less than a fourth, maybe a fifth of my total money, which is pretty good, as well as the ad types. Um, you know, and you can see, um, you can see how much I get, I've get. i gotten for the year for YouTube Red. So the YouTube Red, you get paid based off of watch time. And so I made 350 bucks from YouTube Red. 400, you guys donated $450 to me to the year. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then um, that's, that was all through Super Chat. I don't have like the subscribe thing yet or the, um, I don't know what they call it. And then about $7,355 was from ad revenue actually in my pocket. So YouTube takes 45%. The, this is my remainder 55%. Now I have to pay income on this and everything else, but that's it. So that's a very high level of the ad revenue. Um, one thing to consider is that I do have affiliate links in my in my uh, descriptions, and I, I probably say I end with my courses. Um, if I had to guess, my if I had to give an average of what the Udemy courses pay me, it's probably about 500 dollars a month on average and then the affiliate links is a hundred to two hundred dollars a month um you know it, it sort of varies but uh that should give you a rough idea of what i let's see does it tell me how many subscribers i had at this point a lot of times people are very concerned about the amount of subscribers but uh i gained 23.6 so i'm at today about 56 so let's just minus about 30 because uh we have a couple more months so this was around, uh, I started that year around 20,000, 25,000 subscribers. And this is what I, I made at the end of the day, uh, maybe 30,000 subscribers. But hey, I hope you guys found that interesting and helpful, a little bit of transparency. Uh, and uh, probably in June, because that's when I was supposed to release this video and I got distracted, uh, we'll do my fourth year as a YouTuber in a couple, couple months and you'll get to see exactly where I'm at to this to the present tense instead of the past like we did here, um, which is only two, three months away. So uh, that's pretty interesting and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found some something interesting about it. And um, you know, part of the reason I share this not to be like, oh, look at this, you know, sort of money that I'm making is um, the largest thing I've gotten out of a YouTube channel is just having a fun side project. The money is sort of a bonus and has helped, you know, um, it's always good to have passive income streams, but it has done so much for my career to, you know, increase my salary, to make me in demand, to show that I am passionate and learning and growing. And so I share this in hopes that some of you, whether it's a YouTube channel, whether it's a blog, whatever it is, will go and start that side project that delivers the same level of success, if not more, that having a YouTube channel has delivered for me. So uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Um, support me on Patreon. If you're interested in any of my courses, there's links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.